Cleaning up and shutting down a problematic homeless camp. It's done down in St. Louis downtown. Thanks for joining us everyone. I'm Maurice Drummond and for Corey and Samantha, News 4 broke the story of this camp over the summer and for months now it's been the catalyst for crime and health concerns. Yet the city's decision to finally shut down the encampment is being met with mixed reviews depending on who you ask. This camp was illegally set up on a public land right by the new St. Louis Square headquarters downtown on Tucker. Our Caroline Hecker shows us what's next for those camp residents. The cleanup process is wrapping up here at Interco Plaza with all that's left being an orange fence with a sign that advertises the park closed for restoration. It's a welcome sight to those who live in and around the downtown area, but for those who lived here, it's a tough road ahead. Friday morning, the sounds of heavy equipment and shovels filled Interco Plaza in downtown St. Louis. It was a loud and sudden sign that the plaza is no longer home for people like Brittany Tyler. We're not, we not trying to go nowhere. Y'all trying to do this like, we're not trying to go nowhere, bro. And it's like, y'all can't move us if we don't want to. Y'all gonna pick us up and make us go? Y'all can't, bro, like, that's, that's not right. The city says its goal is to shut down the camp but not before giving those living there alternative options, like nearby shelters with wraparound services. The city historically has not had a good relationship with the unhoused. You know, we have seen uh, multiple instances in which the unho our unhoused neighbors were displaced from a location without an alternative option. As residents took down tents and packed up belongings, the worry about what the future holds looms for people like Tyler. There's a lot of people like, God, mental issues you know like yes it they really do and then it's like they gotta change from a location to another location and then some people don't even got a place to go the city says ongoing violence and unsanitary conditions are the main reasons for the shutdown last month viewers shared this video with news 4 showing a man being severely beaten in interco plaza on sunday a man was shot and killed there the cleanup is welcome news to those living downtown i'm encouraged by it However, they do need to have some sort of measure in place to, to keep those encampments from building either on that side or, or other sites downtown. But for those who have called the plaza home, the closure is emotional. This is my family, man. You know what I'm we family here, y'all. Yeah. For real, it's all we got. At this point, it still remains unclear what, if any, mitigation strategies are being put in place by the city to ensure that tents don't start popping up here once again. In downtown St. Louis, Caroline Hecker, News 4.